And we're back for Weeknight Update. Tonight, a special report on a troubling trend threatening American democracy as we approach a major election. Voting provides Americans with an essential voice in choosing leaders to make critical decisions about jobs, education, opportunities, and more. But rather than making sure that every voter counts, some politicians are working overtime to restrict the right to vote. Experts say that new, restrictive voting laws in dozens of states could keep millions of eligible voters from voting this November, and that the biggest impact will be on students, African Americans, Latinos, and older Americans. But these unfair laws are not going unchallenged. As our reporting found, in state after state, civil rights groups and courageous citizens are taking a stand and making a difference. That's right, Adam. Here in Colorado, the Secretary of State has tried to purge voting lists in ways that could hit Latino voters especially hard. And he tried to prevent county clerks from sending ballots to people who didn't vote in the last election, even members of the military. The reaction? Well, it's been fierce. because the Secretary of State is making a decision about whether or not people that didn't vote in 2010 should become inactive voters. It would disproportionately be Latino and African Americans that are taken off of the rolls. Looking back at the last year, we've seen voter ID legislation introduced in more than 38 states. Voter suppression comes in many forms. It can be as subtle as rulemaking through the Secretary of State's office or legislation at the state capitol to make it harder for people to vote by putting voter registration restrictions in place, or as obvious as robocalls telling voters that the day of the election has changed. In Pueblo in 2008, there was a series of robocalls that went out the night before the election telling voters that their polling places had changed. The county clerk found out about it and did his best to get the word out that that information was incorrect. My mom was one of those people that received one of those robocalls. Um, she called me immediately and asked me if, had we changed our precinct. And I just couldn't believe that this could be happening. How could somebody call you and try to take your vote away from you? And as soon as I heard that, it, I mean, my heart dropped because I thought, how many people are getting these phone calls today? I think they targeted mostly senior people. They said there was something that happened and they had to move the election out to Wednesday instead of Tuesday. I think the Secretary of State's job is to get more people to vote and not less people to vote. And there shouldn't be no restrictions. So we put you on notice, Secretary of State, yes, that we yes. will not allow you to take away our vote. It has become a battleground where when we were seeing, you know, one or two or three bills proposed that would have changed the election law in Colorado, now we're seeing 50. It's becoming a growing trick in the kind of partisan tool bag when you're trying to win an election. People need to really own the, the right to participate in this election and not let these voter suppression efforts push us out of the process. There you have it, folks. Our democracy, our ability to have a say in our own government is threatened by unfair laws designed to prevent some people from voting. But those laws don't have to stand. They can be overturned. Yes, Adam, and not only can those laws be defeated, but the politicians can't keep citizens from voting if everyone commits to getting registered, getting their friends, family members, and neighbors registered, and then making sure to vote. Every voter counts. And that's what it's really all about. Every citizen being encouraged and empowered to exercise their right to vote. So don't just stand there. Become a part of the story in your state and your community. Find out how you can help protect and expand voting rights by visiting civilrights.org vote2012 because every voter counts.